Hello everyone and welcome back to our memory lane and we're now going into our next game on here folks me that my show and as many of you may be aware uh, we did do Spell of the Dragon last time and this time around decided to do something a little bit different as you may know folks there were mostly uh, two main uh, gaming genres on the PlayStation. It was pretty much the majority was fighting game and platformer game. There were of course a few other rare hidden jewels uh, amongst the PlayStation. Some of them neither fighting or platformer or were slightly platformer but more shooting and decided to bring you a fighting game. This time for you folks a one episode uh, special for you all folks so yeah pretty much done for you to enjoy this and it's time to get ourselves uh, ready folks no uh, well no so ladies and gentlemen please sit back relax and enjoy the wonderful fighting game that basically will be shown the title of when we get started and hello folks. Alrighty now, we've now got a Sony Computer Enter Entertainment company a Hudson game. So many of you may know this one. Let's find out. Oh, got a moon. Wait. Oh, yeah. Right, about the trailer. Eh, not company. Meh. <laughs> Alright, the moon turns into an eye. Got fur. Oh my god, it's got a muzzle. Alright. Big tall city building. Well, black. Skyscraper, there's a wolf, there's a lion, there's a mole, there's a bunny, there's a piggy, there's a monkey, there's a tiger, and a fox. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, look at the ninja go. Wait, shouldn't you have broken your knee and leg? Oh, two guys in the picture. Is that. It's the lion. It's the lion. Now it's time for the bunny woman. Who's yeah, Alice. There. Ah, he is long the tiger. Yeah. Okay, who's this? Who's this? It's It's the piggy, Bitsuko. And oh, bit of a circusy thing there. That's gotta be the monkey. Greg. I think his name is. Ah, there's the tiger, Shen. There's the chimp. He is the mole. He is the uh, fox. <laughs> he is the bunny. He is the pig. Oh my god! Right on the camera. Oh, that was a lion. What's this? <gasps> that's the wolf. Oh, uh, painful. Yeah. There's the fox. There's Hugo. Oh, Hugo. Oh, he suddenly turned furry. <laughs> ah, it's the wolf. No wonder. And turned into a fox. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. You know, to not be gotten sung. Ah, and there's the game, folks. Bloody raw. Here comes the big bad Hugo, the wolf. Alrighty, oh, alrighty then, folks. I'm gonna be showing you and explaining a bit about uh, Hugo. Hmm. Hugo is the most known character in the Bloody Roars. But as you may notice, I don't use co I don't ever use costume one. I always use costume two, and sometimes on occasion costume three. Yeah. All right, here we are, wolf time. And you see, you guys an all round character doesn't really focus into anything particular. And as you see there, that's some of the wolf care capabilities you can do. Come on, you go. You can do it. Eat him. Oh, and there goes Rave. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. And for many of you people out there who may not know the Bloody Raw franchise, it was a fighting game brought out roughly the same time as the Tekkens were around, and another fighting game called Soul Wedge. Ah, alrighty. Now we move into another one. Now, folks, uh, but now I'm going to be showing you the wolf versus the lion. Now, I'll be showing folks 
to keep this simple, I'm just going to explain the character which I'm being in these segments. So, you go. Yeah. So, yeah. So, pretty much all I'm folks. You go is the most known character in the game series, I've already mentioned. So, basically, many people know how he looks. You you usually got black hair and blue jackets and jeans like that. But basically, this is his second outfit, and you'll see the first outfit for the characters that we are in this. Uh, the opponent ones. Oh, that's a that was a doozy. <laughs> All right, we won. Now we're going to reversing. Ah, Miss Piggy. Ah, oh, that's good. Alrighty then. And here we go now. So with Hugo, you have to time your attacks well for for Hugo. You don't have to really rely on using the same kind of moves because basically, as I already mentioned, Hugo's quite adaptable with his punches and kicks. So pretty so pretty much then you have to use both. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got beaten by a piggy. That is just bad. Being beaten by a piggy. Alright, round two. Fight! Ah, and here we are now, folks. We're now showing you a bit of the fight. Uh, versus Fox. Now, folks, so this should be interesting. Yuga can be countered by a few characters, depending on what their speed is, because basically some, some characters in this are very quick and quite weak attacks, and some are slow, but can basically one-shot you if you let them have time and momentum. Oh my god! As you can see here, the one I'm versing can pretty much counter quite easily. Alright, oh, here we go, and folks. Time to redo against Fox. I had to, uh, something went on with the uh, game for that one, folks, so I do apologise if it was a bit of a sudden jump in the arena. Ah, there we go! So basically, folks, as mentioned, you go, requires claws hands and feet to work. So you have to mix up everything. You can't just rely on the same moves unlike some characters where you can. Ah, we're versing Alice the Bunny. And as many people also may be aware as well, and I'll say this one little bit now and later on, Alice is the second most known as this was made for teens so they had to pretty much think of a character which would probably lure the people in. Alice is, possi is possibly the one that lured most people in. Mm. And Yuga was another one to be lured in. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's finish this. Oh my god, the bunny saved her! Come on, kick! No! Sorry, I'll kick in the head then. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Ah! Now we get to show you versing long. Ah, perfect. Wolf meat. Oh my, oh my god! Come! No! Yes! No! Oh my god! I can I can actually remember doing this for Garden and it was such a pain. <laughs> because after these games, these games were brought back in the time where basically you needed skill to be able to do this game. You needed skill to do past games unlike 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 things like modern fighting games. You don't have to really think as much but you still needed to know the button layout, perfect way, to do the best combos. And in this game, it does follow kind of the suit which you had to know every button. You had to think how to go about doing this. So yeah, that's pretty much basically what this game is. Oh, and oh, righty then, folks. I've listened to the final, the final thing now, which is Yuriko. Basically, folks, this boss has two stages, and also let you be aware, as uh, this is an opening video as well as uh, showing you go. Every single video clip will have this ending. Fight! What the hell is that? The most strangest thing, the most strangest thing about this final thing is it moves when you beat it. It moves. <laughs> Seriously. It's not a cow. It looks like a cow that's been turned inside out and back to front. I give it that, but yeah, that's not exactly a creature Yuriko actually becomes. That's supposedly what 
what what uh, them them are basically and you Yuriko is supposed to be that in the actual storyline she got taken away and abducted and experimented on about then the whole new genetic uh beast soldiers oh my god okay let's do this flip you upside down gonna I'm gonna put you no I'm gonna you no don't do that to me ah a wolf now what are you gonna do huh Oh my god. Alright. Oh, we to go for. Oh, oh my god. My velvet. Ah, got you then. Ah. Yeah. Woo. We won. Alright, and velvet. That's been you go. Let's see the ending. Later. You go. Come on. Okay. Hey. What's that lion guy doing there? Gato, why are you here? Like you, you go. I am searching for Yuji Ogami. I'm sure I'll, I'll answer Francis door. What the hell are they? Test tubes? What are they? The, uh, they are beast soldiers. Well, that's certainly interesting. Imagine, just imagine if that actually ended up happening. If people really were becoming like that. That'd be so great. I am sorry, Yugo. I could not save him. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> The dots are so loved in this, Father. I know you, 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 you never to rest. Promise with the power I have inherited from you, I vow to destroy them all. Oh, at least they ain't always keep it safe. And there's the moon, and there's you go. Now it's time for ding 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 ding, ding Long. Now, basically, Long is the Chinese martial artist. He's really good. He basically is the best for combos. If you can get his uh, upper body combos perfect, come on! <gasps> no! Oh my God! That's this, 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 folks is basically what what I get for trying to show off and trying to use the strongest moves I can at the moment. All right, come on now! I'll versus you the White Tiger. Come on! I'll versus you the White Tiger. Wait, White Tiger. Martial arts. Hmm. Nah. Nah, they couldn't. But I wonder then they could have asked for royalties from a, another game that appears many years in the future. Hmm. But sadly they can't because, yeah, the White Tiger is basically an animal. They didn't base it on the actual style in question. Come on, Tiger! Beat him! No! Oh, what are you doing, you madman? Aha! I tricked you! Now you'll get the double palm hit. Hey, we won! But basically, as I said, long, you get his combos. He starts out with the fists. Start out with then some good strings of fists. Then you work in one or two cakes. And that can take down their health by half. If you really know how to time it. They're really strong as well his abilities but unfortunately if you get him pinned doesn't go well it ends up just backfiring because he needs to get that string started and at least halfway through for it to truly benefit oh I time to go tiger oh my god he went lion come on yes tiger versus lion go 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 we gonna do it yes 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 we beat Yes, we managed to be, be, be in the line out of him. And he goes over there. Skim. Crouching tiger, skimming lion. Hey, that sounds like a very good parody. Alright, here we are now, folks. So we're now versing Greg, the monkey. And, <laughs> yeah, he's just really something. And this, this fight is basically showing what a combo requiring character needs. Oh, Super Monkey time! There we go, Super Monkey! Super Tiger! <laughs> Super... <laughs> yeah, Super Tiger. So basically, folks, with the wave ability you keep seeing, that, folks, is used. <laughs> Clean my claws! And, as I was saying, the wave ability basically increases your attack speed 
whenever you're in beast. But unfortunately, it drains your beast bar. It's bad. Well, oh, it's a gamble, really. Because, basically, unless you know for certain, you can get them off. You you can get off the combos you need. Don't bother. Alright, here we are. Ooh, final. Oh, wow. Yeah, final fight. Alright, come on. No. Yes. 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 No. No. Yes. Come on. Come on, Lon. Yes. Oh, my God. It turned into a cow demon. Come on. No. Uh, oh, thank God for that. Come on. Whoa. I always forget that. Okay, leave. Oh, God, God. Yes, good throwing it. You gotta give it that. Don't throw me. I hate you. <laughs> okay, never mind. I won't hate you anymore. Oh my god. Come on. What the? Oi, get back here. Ah. No! You see how close that is? Yes, I blast you away. But basically, first, what you're gonna. What the hell was that? That move seems so, so foreign. I just don't get what the hell that is supposed to be. What? Animal can do that. No animal. Because I think that's basically part of the genetic stuff that's happened. Come on. Come on. Yes, we might do that. Sometimes folks doing the really cheese thing does the work. Yes, Tiger vs. Demon. Come on. Oh my god, we're actually winning. We're actually beating it back. Yes, 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 yes. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Come on. No. <laughs> How the hell is that even easy? That was the most trollish act I've seen the AI do. Just taps me slightly, slightly, uh, slightly, slightly, slightly over the edge and I fall off. Yes, we've already risen the demon again. Don't hit me. I'm going to hit your back with my tiger claws. <gasps> no! <laughs> Rave time. Oh yeah! Yes, 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 yes. No! Don't hit me. Yes, we managed to get past the first round again. Okay, clean my claws, demon. Come on. This demon cannot be a hat tricky. Seriously. And thinking back, when you first played this game, this boss would have beat this final character. Yes! Fly away, demon. Ah, later, long. I'll say what I was saying a bit more after this. Yeah, okay. Release me from this curse. I have never asked for these powers and I do not want them. Whoa, Aqua. You do not want them? Are you sure of that? Long? By learning to control your abilities, I know I'm in your deep torment because I am you. Stop, I will not. Ah, become. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, even them when I sound like that. <laughs> Nah, but anyways though, folks, but just think about this though, when this game first came out, that final boss would have people stumped for a while. <gasps> Alright, next boss. No, next character. <gasps> hobbity hobbity hop. Alice the Rabbit. Yeah. Alright then, folks, now it's time to be Alice. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened to her? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, I think when I was selecting her, I might have been, I might have not fully focused on my button now, I'm pressing. Wait. Oh my god, it's a mini bunny! I want to see the mini bunny. No, don't do that to me, you stupid fox. I do this to you instead. Me, bounce it. Oh, cute little bunny. <gasps> Whoa! That's one deadly bunny. You gotta give it that. The dust tiniest rabbit can be the most deadliest. As it's proving now, it's kicking this fox's ass. <laughs> oh my god, come on, come on. But yeah, basically, folks, I don't think that's supposed to be the actual size. Because I swear, I was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> yes, we won, we won, we won, we won. Yes. Oh my god, that looks hideous. <gasps> There's the real Alice. But yeah, basically, folks, that's how I was supposed to look like. The AI one, so the red shirt one. I have a question. Red jacket and pink shorts. Shorts. Yeah, that's basically how I'm supposed to look like. I think after then reading a little bit about it as well. Uh, when I was selecting the character, oh my god, 
bunny fight. What the hell? Come on. But you, but yeah. Anyway, anyways, old folks. When I was selecting the character, I think I might have been having having another uh, another button pressed down. I think at the same time because I think that turned out to be a code that you held down one button and you clicked another one in the character selection. Come on, bunny! You can beat the bunny. No, no, wrong bunny. White bunny. Beat it. <laughs> no. Please plant the bunny. Don't do that. Oh my god, that bunny is just so painful. But yeah, and also as well, folks, our wish is actually one is actually one of the quicker characters. Really good, strong, quick attacks, very quick moving around, so you can easily keep up with people. And it all goes down to good timings of abilities. Again, with her. Because, as you can see here, you time the abilities perfectly. You can pull off some really good low hitting attacks. Come on! <gasps> yes, we managed to get ours down to the final round. Come on, it's so hard because I'm beating myself up here. <laughs> Seriously, it is! Go on, Alice, beat up our ass! <laughs> oh my god, I turned in into a bunny again! But, I was like, but that bunny does not look threatening. The tall one does, but but basically the little one doesn't look hot, does, doesn't doesn't look menacing. Even okay, never mind, it's quite menacing. Come on, yes, evil bunny charge! Oh my god, evil bunny charge! Go! That is one strong bunny. Yes, we've done that now. Alright, yes, we're now versing the hard hitter. I'm gonna show you just what. A quick moving character can be like versing a hard hitter. So a slow lumbering character. <gasps> no! Don't give me a hug! <gasps> no! Oh my god, that's just so evil. And it looks wrong at the same time. Thank god, thank god then for these graphics being quite like this. Yeah. Cause you try and do that in modern games where basically little peep uh, little people codes are quite hard to combine fighting games. That'd be pretty that that should be quite good. Then then basically no code like that actually exist. Uh, at least not what I can think. At least. I'm only going by guesswork. Come on! Come on Alice! No! No! Don't get caught by her! Yes, buddy kick. Wait, don't turn to a piggy. Don't turn to a piggy! Yes! We managed to do it. We stopped her from turning into a piggy. Okay, final fight. We're now being yep, we're now versing always versing the cow demon. <laughs> and yeah. And for any of you may be wondering, Yuko actually despite what you see here one uh, once after when you learn her abilities, she's actually pretty easy to start countering. Cause she works from both sort of character modes. Meaning her first half of the fight, which is that tall green haired one, is a very fast moving character. Really fast moving. Can can basically appear next to you in a in basically a blink of an eye. That's a good throwing arm demon. That's a very good throwing arm. <laughs> Please don't do it again. And this one as you can see here really slow but really strong you get caught up in any of them attacks you're losing your beast mod pretty quick come on <gasps> no don't do that to me come on oh my god I'm trying to rush go <gasps> yes we managed to anchor its head yeah we won oh my god that was so close right later Alice her ending now it's weird. There it is. Uh, I'm so tired. I want another five minutes of sleep. Many people want that. Oh no, I haven't slept. I need to hurry. Eureka, what's taking you so long, sis? I mean, wait, Eureka? That sounds. Eureka. Oh my god, that's actually her. Aunt Mitsuko. Aunt Mitsuko? Wait. Does that mean that Yuriko? <gasps> Gado, the lion. Uh, in other words, the MGM lion. 
Alright, Gardo, here we are, folks. Now, Gardo is... I guess he's sort of like a brawler. He does hit hard, if you know the right buttons. And... Yeah, he can do decent damage with his kicks. And it's his kicks that mostly do the damage and his charge abilities. But apart from that, his basic punches can do me uh, it can do mediocre damage it it can keep them at bay but yeah this guy focus with the kicks and you'll be able to win see like this that's proven that you can kick them all right come on who's next oh my god it's it's long it's long the tiger all right come on yes and in this costume yeah I'm sorry folks it's a pink lion. I didn't quite know that till when I started uh, playing this character in costume 2. So yeah. So I don't know what other colors appear. All I know is that the first one's golden, second one is pink, I don't know the next one. Ah, okay, now we're gonna hit first a hard hitter. I'm gonna show you just just how God of the Lion can actually keep up with damage was against a Hard hitter if we can ever get a moment. Come on! Yes, yes, no, yes, no, no. What the hell is that? Is that some kind of dance? Oh my god! Come on! Yes! There we go! Ooh! What do you know then? A nice little white background. Yes! We won! Ooh! Alright, we're versing now. Ah, versing the mole. Now, the mole, as you probably see on the trailer, is the ninja. And. Many ninjas in fighting games, believe it or not, are some of the quickest characters you'll ever encounter. Yes, white white screen of of, of perfection. And many of you know ninjas in fighting games are some are some of the quickest moving characters you'll ever have. And in this game, that's no carries for. This guy's incredibly fast. You let him run uh, there uh uh, well, uh, 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 when run rampant, you're not gonna be able to keep up. Alright, here comes the second hard hitter, Greg, the monkey. And, Greg, believe it or not, oh god, you see the damage he does in that? The further away you are, I think, the more damage he does. Greg is unbelievably tough. <gasps> no! Adrenaline! 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 Yes! Adrenaline reaction! I'm reversing. Who are we reversing? Oh, you go. Ah, nice. But, yeah. But, yeah, folks. As I said, Gado relies on his kicks. And that one punch combo you see there. Three Domus punches. Because that does so much damage, especially in beast form. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on, Gado. Get back up and punch that guy's ass. Yes, there we are. And that punch... <gasps> yes, you got your ball of wool. Get it back from him. Yes. Alright, we won. Now... Ah, double gado. <gasps> the true kick war. Look at him go. <laughs> we can keep up this forever. Yes. No. God damn it. <gasps> no. Yes, best roll ever. That was so good. Okay, hatch up. That's not how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to collide and stay collided. Oh my god, it's the two lions. This is so good. You sometimes get uh, and get these matches which are just so perfect that you do not want them any other way. They are fantastic. And in this fight, Gado versus Gado, you know you're going for a real good fight. Alright, there we go. Now reversing Yuriko. Yuriko again. I'm gonna reverse him as Gado and I'm gonna show you just how just how uh, I'd say easy, but it it really goes down to your to your gameplay, folks. You have to know what to do, what buttons to press. <gasps> get away! Oh my god, that was so No, get away from the cow demon. Yes! Come on, come on, come on! Yes, Gado, I love you. Come on. Again. Let's beat it for the final time. Come on. Come on, Lion. Beat that cow demon. 
Yes, Nutshot KO. Wait, is it Nutshot? Oh, yeah, I see now it could be Nutshot KO. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, later, Gado. He's ending. Basically, by then the luck of this guy, he's a military man. He seems to enjoy this military way too much. Alright, let's keep this going. Alright, let's just keep this going now. And let's see whereabouts we can get. Oh, why do I feel so strange? Ah, so basically for that look of it, he doesn't like having no one chasing him. Hmm. Okay. Does he... Does he... Aha, uh -huh. so obviously when he's in combat, he likes... He likes violence, he likes war. That's alright, because... You know... You can see he's really good at it. <laughs> alright, now reversing... Greg! Greg, the British top hat wearing American gorilla. Now I say that because that top hat is British looking. Seriously, it looks like a Brit bodybuilder. That's just... <laughs> yeah. Greg is the perfect example of a British American. Well, I say that. But pretty much I'm proud. He's slow. He might not be clever thinking. And, oh my god, he's a golden monkey! He is related to the MGM lion. <laughs> yes! But, I wonder though, folks, you think maybe that one day they may actually be a British monkey looking like thing that actually ends up appearing? Oh my god, yes, fear the monkey butt! The monkey butt is so evil! But as I was saying though then, do you think then that basically a British monkey looking creature? Oh yeah. Don't trust my monkey bird. Will actually appear in America, or actually appear and try to fit into American society. I think one day it might actually happen. Or perhaps it's already happened. And someone is a British monkey. <laughs> In America, that'd be something so funny to see. Oh, tragic. Depends, really. <laughs> Depends how their life has come across. Hmm. All right. Oh my God, it's monkey versus bunny. Oh my God. But yeah, this guy's ultimate move in his monkey beast form is his butt. This monkey's butt is so it's really strong. Believe it or not, if all three hit. It basically, you're looking at something which can just cause pure damage. Yes! Monkey bitch slap. <laughs> no! Why does that keep happening? Two, three. No! No! Stop! Stop! Don't hit! Don't hit the monkey! Don't hit the monkey! Don't hit! Yes! Monkey slap! Alright, uh, now versing Long. Long the tiger versing Greg the, the monkey. Hmm. Chimp versus tiger, that's it. Yes. Who will win? The chimp or the tiger? Oh my god. But <laughs> the oh yes, the monkey backhand. Wow. But yeah, also with this chimp, he's pretty hard to predict when about to use his moves. Yes, monkey but power. You see the power of the monkey butt. It can do. It can basically take from around a quarter of someone's health to half the health, depending on how many of them hit in the string. As it starts out of a weak one, a medium one, then a strong one. What you saw was the strongest one hit him. He had really low health as it was. Mm. Come on, come on! No, I've lost the monkey. But yeah, as you can see as well, as I told you in the well, bit earlier, Long is very really good at combos. You let him get a combo off, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be alright for a while. Oh my god, yes. Punch that you go in the head. Alright. Now let's see how we go about with this one. 
a heavy hit and versing and basically this guy is balanced is Hugo so he's actually pretty good at countering heavy hitters because he still has the speed to outmaneuver them the chimp versus wolf no the chimp and wolf and as I said Yuga is a balance which means which base which basically means he has he has average power and he has average speed meaning I have to be really careful or that happened <laughs> and be in this case we have to be really careful because as mentioned Yuga is average in power and speed so it basically means he doesn't have to be quick at moving to keep up with people like like Greg and Mitsuko because basically Mitsuko is well, slow another character who, who will appear and there's Greg who is possibly slower and who will win the chimp or the wolf this might not go down so well because yeah this chimp is almost out <laughs> no oh my god wait a minute I didn't turn back cool yes but power no oh my god come on <gasps> no no I bishop you with my monkey ball okay that monkey ball built it is really good for getting out of situations <gasps> no no come on that has got to be the most cheesiest thing in the world. Yes, monkey smash wolf. Smash him good. Smash that wolf. <laughs> Basically, folks, them ring outs are really, really a cheesy way to win. They really are. They're sometimes the last resort to being the easiest method of beating them, but unfortunately, it's just so cheesy. It's sort of like versing someone who you know you won't win, and you trick them out, 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 out of, of, in the ring. Seriously, it's just so. <gasps> yes, it's just so. <laughs> yeah, bad. It can really piss off a lot of people as well, which is why. Oh my God! Oh my God! Plus, yes. Mega Monkey Butt Plus. <laughs> You've seen the power of it. That it was. Okay, now we're seeing Yuiko. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, basically, slow characters will have a disadvantage against Yuiko. Because you have to time everything down to a T. If you're not good at timing, I recommend you don't be Greg. Because <laughs> Greg relies heavily on being able to keep them pinned. Oh my god! No! Whoa! They hit hard. Come on! At least let's get it down to the bloody demon cow. <gasps> yes! No! <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, as you can see here, against this demon, it becomes a little bit more fair, but it still requires timing. You can never turn your back on him unless you know you can pull off the monkey butt. Or if you really know what you're doing, but this demon is really hard to predict. It's <gasps> gonna hurt. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Oh god, that's right. Yeah, at this point, my my controller died. <laughs> I couldn't control anything. No. Ah. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. Ow. There we go. Back to kicking with the monkey. This is now this time folks should go a little bit better. Right. This this Eureka managed to gain a small advantage. As you can see here, this is costume one that I'm using now. Well, skin one. That's what everyone sees, Greg. Oh my god, I I almost managed to pull off the strong combo. Yes, come on, big arm like that. Yes, pay back for the malfunction. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's hope we can win this one, folks. Come on. Yes. Oh my God! You managed to. <gasps> oh my God! You stupid demon cow! Get away from me, monkey butt. That monkey butt is just so overpowered. Seriously, it is. 
What the hell was I trying to grab in on that demon? On the demon cow, I tried to grab his <laughs> pelvis. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Yes! Monkey Peak's demon thing! Yes! We get the monkey that's so happy! Okay, later, Greg. Here's Greg's ending. So, as you can see here, as you can see here, Greg is trying to convince Hugo to actually join his circus. Obviously, his circus is not going well. Oh my god! Can you really picture him doing that stuff? Look at them animations! Look at them! A wolf jumping through a hoop of fire. You won't even get a thing and no one can do that. <gasps> There's a lion! <clears throat> oh my god, you won't do it. <laughs> oh my god, dot 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 dot. <gasps> Why are you so quiet? What? Wait. Oh my god, he's gonna be the star of the show. Seriously. Oh my god, there he is. It's clear as day. And, ah, fox. What does the fox say? <laughs> Alright, here we go now, folks. Fox. She's pretty, uh, good. She has very strong, uh, kick combos. Oh, phew, that was gonna be the lucky timing. Oh my god. But yeah, as you can see there, her charge kick actually actually pole vaults her. And you have to time it perfectly to hit them. If you don't, you have to go over them or you land right in front of them, leaving you wide open to being kicked in the head. Or far worse. Oh my god, come on, yes! That was actually a lucky kick. Never fight a fox! See how far they go. Alright, we win. And, as you may have seen that, she actually kind of looks like a vampire in that skin by how pale she looks. But yeah, that's also, yeah, white fox. Believe it or not, that actually looks kind of like a, kind of looks like a Ferex fox, by the look of it. If anyone knows what then a Ferex fox is, uh, they're actually the descendant, they're actually the uh, ancestors of the dog breed Chihuahua. Hmm. So what you're seeing is a Chihuahua in the past fighting. Come on. Yes, yes. Oh my god, come on god, I'll just fall already. Let me just kick your ass. Uh, don't hit my face! Now that happens, you get kicked in the head. So yeah. We won. I can hug myself. Okay, here we go. Why do I get as well as the majority of the females in this game all wear short shots or mini skirts? They may as well just be wearing a belt. Come on, pogo! Pogo this way! Bouncy, bouncy! No, bouncy, bouncy! Yes! Come on, pogo it! Yes! We managed to win a pogo! How to? Oh, yes! We got a pogo win! Okay. Back to that, but as you can see here, Fox's most powerful abilities all reside in her kicks. They are fantastic. They can do so much damage when you let them run amok. But unfortunately, anyone who's quicker than her can gain the advantage pretty quick. Say, the mole character, I, yeah, that, that guy. If you let him run rampant, you can probably give Fox a good run for her money. And, as you can see, Fox does rely on pretty high kicks. Oh my god, it's perfect! <gasps> yes, white screen are perfect! Okay, fight, come on. Come on now. As you can see here, we've just let him get a bit of a free reign by accident. And, okay, there we go. But also as well, when Fox is in her beast, as that yes, Fox, and use her kicks, they they have so much more power behind them. I mean, literally, that is her beast attack. Is her kicks? 
Oh my god, no, do not let that mole beat your ass. Yes! Let the wall go. Oh my god, we sent him flying! Yes! Yeah. Oh my god, there goes the vampire. Alright, here we go now. Manel vs. Yuriko. We're going to show you just how good this character can be against Yuriko. The fox. Okay, here we go. Fox vs. Cow Demon. That's the biggest flaw with her. If you use that pogo thing too early, you leave yourself open. Oh, why do I keep falling for that bloody tree? See, like that, you can sometimes try and then get lucky and and predict when about to use it. But I won't recommend it. Yeah, and that's as well, Fox's punches are very quick, but kind of weak. So, recommend using with Fox, don't use a punch as much. Use them quickly to sort of distract them. And that was a very short lived Fox form. <laughs> yeah. But basically, Fox, as mentioned, do keep Fox's attacks mostly with her legs. As that is the strongest point of her. <sighs> Come on. <gasps> yes! No! What the hell? Yes! Fox backhand of doom! Wow, it's pitch black down there. <laughs> okay, now we're at ah, the ending fox. Later, fox. Hello? What the hell is it now? Is this, is, is this the back street? Well, you reckon uh, I can smell the beast power within you. Oh boy. <laughs> well, actually. That does raise an interesting query. Well, query. If these are all beasts, wouldn't that mean that even in their normal state, their smell and their eyes would be really good? Okay. Oh my gosh, she seems happy to kill her mother. Oh my god, look at the moon. Okay, back who are you? The dancing mole. The tickler of the moles. Yeah. Okay, here we are then. Bakurayu, the ninja mole. As you can see here, basically, every single one of his attacks is pretty weak. But, but, bas but basically, folks, for what his attacks are weak, all goes into his attack speed. Okay, chimp versus mole. That did not go inside the plan. Oh my! That were painful. Come on, yes! Oh my god, come on, mole. You can win this. And many, many of you may be wondering what Baku Ryo is. In the first game, well, I say first game, in this one, uh, he pretty much is the first one. This is the Baku Ryu that they prototyped with. Yes, let's dance, Greg. Let's do, let's, let's do the happy dance. Whee! Um, yeah, pretty much. And in the other ones, uh, I'll let it, I'll tell you a bit more about the back Ryu's character, character progression when we, when we sort of get further into this one. Alright, but at the moment, let's watch. Let's watch the dancing mole with the monkey. Oh my god, yes, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. But yeah, basically, what you can see. Baku's kicks are pretty good as well. They are pretty well done. What? What? Yes! Thank you. But yeah, basically, Baku Ryu. Very fast attack, quite weak damages. Ah, here we go. Right. Here's pure speed versus swift legs. Ah, oh, Fox Nord. What? <laughs> yeah, and um, this is basically. Oh my god, I want to fuse with you. I want to be a fox mole. That'd be so awesome, a fox mole. But yeah, but, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, anyway, so, folks, but as I said, Baku Ryu, really quick, weak attacks, but with him, you can chain up the punches pretty quick. Oh my god, I'm getting fox food! Whee! I get to dance with the fox. Oh, not anymore. Come on now. But, uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, for, what the? What the hell? What the hell happened then? Well, there we go.
back to normal right now. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, back with Ryu. You keep moving, you get dominance over the entire ring. You can pretty much win any fight if you really are allowed to gain control of the area. Why, even other fast characters, even though then they, they will be quite challenging, diverse as as they can just keep up with you, you still gain the small advantage of always being able to be a little bit quicker. Tickle! But yeah, and the mole's grapple, he basically just tickles around their neck. Can you imagine being killed by that move? <laughs> being tickled to death? <laughs> Seriously, that, that was a <gasps> tickle some more! Just imagine being tickled to death by him. That'd be so great. Seriously. Seriously, though, then, if you ever managed to beat that and do that, that would make anyone you versed be really annoyed. It's basically like trolling them. You just tickle them constantly. No other move, just tickle them. <laughs> and just watch the people get pissed off with you. Alright, uh, here we go. Now it's time for Mole versus Mole. Oh, that's unfair. Transform that quickly. Oh my god. No. Yes. Come on. Oh my. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, when you're versing yourself as Bakurayu, you just see how quick they both move for basically this day and age. Compared to modern fighting games, such as Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and the Dragon Ball Z's. This game is pretty slow, but back then, this game was pretty quick moving. And this character was basically like a blur around, around the entire field. It was just, yeah, it's just really amazing to see how far fighting games have really, have really gotten through. Come on, we gotta beat them all. Yes, use our punches. No! You the punches. I'll do both well, folks, but I think I might be catching some. Uh, I think I might actually have some bit illness. <laughs> I think, cause I really, really feel weird at the moment. Uh, trying to do this. Come on! Oh my God! Why can't I hit you? <laughs> tickle to death, death tickle. <laughs> That's it. Oh yes, I found the first Yuriko. Don't know why, but Yuriko pretty much frightens me a little bit. <laughs> Cause even though you're the quickest character as Baku, Yuriko can still be painful because since you're quicker, you sacrifice being well more endurance, which means you've got to be really quick on the uh, reflexes. You've got to know when to get. <gasps> no! Oh come on, that's just overkill. Oh my god, come on! Yes! Wait. <gasps> Get away from me! Oh my god! I got headbutted by Cow Demon, Demon Dancing! Alright, uh, let's see if I have to. Whoa. I still don't know what. What? <gasps> that jump! <laughs> oh, that. Nah, I failed with that one. If only I managed to get both jumps done. <gasps> ew, ew, ew! Why does that keep on spitting green stuff on my pelvis all the time? Does he want to make male characters into females? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Seriously, demon. Really? That's going to be the most diabolical demon I've seen. <laughs> A male-hating demon. Oh, but that did not go well. Yeah, no! Oh, not that time. I kick you. Come on. Yes! Final round. <laughs> Come on, we must do this. We've got to be able to beat this guy. <gasps> yes, Tickle and the Demon. Oh man, this is not gonna go good. Oh man. Oh, oh, I got it. Yes! No! No! Leave me alone, Demon. No! Leave me alone, you Demon. Yes. God damn it. That move is always gonna catch me off guard. Yes, I got to dance with him again. I got to kick him in the head. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. E no. Ow. What the hell? Ew, ew, stop spamming me. But I said, this is for every male. Pow. Yes, we win. Later. Back who are you? Here is, here is, he's in. Do you really think you could defeat me? How dare you challenge me? You de a defeat was inevitable. Hmm. I have ascended to the rank of ultimate soldier. Yeah, why has he got snot coming out of his eyes? The metamorphosis is failing. Oh my god! He's a snot monster! Ow! Oh my god. And that's what happened to Baku Ryu. <laughs> yeah, and in the future games, is he Baku Ryu? This is what happens. He was a prototype as this carrot on this game. Alright, Mitsuko, or Miss Piggy, in other words. Here we go, then, folks. The final character, Mitsuko, heavy hitter battle. Uh, right. So, right, so best of us in this one fight, we have the two only heavy hitters in the game. Which basically means you don't need a good combo to do damage. You just need a good timing and when to use your abilities. Like that, see? Get that stump in the nerds and stump in the shoulder. <laughs> and it all works out. Alright, okay. Come on, let's get damage over here. Come on. Yes. Oh yeah, I get to turn to Miss Piggy. And rave. Rave. That's not go well. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, you see how close these sort of things are it? Why did I just do that? Yes! Never annoy the pee! Oh, you get flung out the arena like that. We won! Yes. Who are we versing now? However, the piggy and the mole. Not a love story, sadly, but... He's close to one. The buff love love and to be to be and the crap out of each other. It's gotta be something. Oh my god, that mole is so mean. <laughs> Come on, Miss Piggy. This is basically the quickest character versing one of the slowest characters. So yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, something. <laughs> Come on, Miss Piggy, you can do it. You can be the mole. You can be the mole. Come on. Be the mole. Yes! Just managed to catch him on the kick. Okay, come on. But yeah, as you can see here, two hits from Mitsuko can cause a quarter of the health. Gone. It's just how unbalanced many these characters are, because they were made to be. Uh, some characters are really hard hitters, but they're slow as all hell. And there's some characters that are really quick, but do really less damage. And then there's the characters for beginners. Like, Yugo. Yugo is the character for beginners because he's simple, he's not that quick, and he isn't that strong, he's balanced, and is he just lost because of slow moves? Come on now, Mitsuko. Come on, Miss Piggy. Yes, the Piggy has come out. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What's trying to run? No. I want to try and go on the screen. Oh my god, I did not know what was that. But there we are. We got a win. Okay, I'm reversing ours. We're now reversing the second quickest character in the game in movement speed against the second slowest character <laughs> in the game. So, yeah, I us just see how this unwinds. And you see here, as long as you can catch them off guard, you can just about be any character as anyone. But it's all about catching them off guard. Of knowing where to strike. Oh my god, that rabbit is evil. Piggy hug. Yeah, basically folks, when you're versing Alice, 
get her out of that bunny form as quickly as you can. Because her in that pig form does so much. As I in that pig form, because basically Alice in her bunny form just runs rampant. You're not gonna have a very fun time. See like that. She can just bounce around and remove your beast form in literally just a few seconds. And being beast form, you also regenerate your health depending on where the white bar is. As you can see the red bar, where that is, you see a bit of a greyed out section. That basically means you get health back. Oh yeah, angry piggy! Come on, piggy hug! And lay on you. But yeah folks but basically as said versing always get her out of that rabbit farm as quickly as you can cause you've got to outside of a rabbit farm she's still quite dangerous but doesn't come close to how strong she is in a rabbit because she can jump incredibly high I think she actually has the the highest jump in the game in her beast farm Alright, now we get to see just how to go about doing this. As Miss Piggy versing the cow demon. Oh my god, don't kill me much. Seriously, that is just so painful. That one grappling move hurts. She gets behind you, grabs you, you're waving goodbye to a part of your health. In one go. I mean, seriously, come on. But fortunately, we have a character which can remove a quarter health in just two hits. But all about getting the bloody hits to land. <laughs> oh my god. No, we died to lightning. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this now. We can do this. We have the skill. We just need to somehow find it. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god then that she likes to do that little warp shield. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn, she's lucky. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Kapow! <gasps> no, what made me go there? Okay, this is it. Okay, this is it, is it, folks. The final time we versed the cow demon. Yeah. As this character, I've picked this character to be last for a good reason. <gasps> yes! Torpedo up here! Okay, this is it. Final round. All win or die match? Who will win? Will it be the piggy or will it be the cow demon? Let's find out and watch this fight. This is going to be pretty fun, actually. Okay, come on. Let's shoulder him to death. Come on. Shoulder him. No. Use your hoof. Use your hoof of power. No. Fine. You just have to headbutt him to death. Oh no. I, oh my god. Oh, you. You ain't gonna go. Oh my god. No! Don't do that to me. Yes! But I say, we have got victory over Bloody Raw. We've done it. This is it. Now, let's see the ending to this character. Okay, later, Mitsuko. Mother? Wait, Yuriko is. Huh. This is why I left her for last. Because, you see, this game, if you think about it, is all, is all revolving around Mitsuko. Because Mitsuko is. is Yuriko's mother. And Yuriko's cousin is Alice. That is something really interesting. So it turns out Alice and Mitsuko are probably the two main characters in this, in the main storyline. And and we're actually going to watch the credits for this to show that it truly is the final part of this game. So we've seen every single ending, all the characters being shown off, Different moves being done. I've tried to do the special moves well, but 
Yeah, might not have had that, that much luck. But we've also tried... I do apologize to them for so that green... Screen bed. I'm not too sure what it is. I think that may, that may have actually been part of the game issue. Or my PC issue, depending on which one was which. But, yeah. Alright, let's get this done now. Oh, US team. Wait. Yeah, of course it was US team. They helped. Duh. <laughs> Alright, this is it, folks. Let's see the ending now. Special thanks to, yep, and Hudson as staff. As staff. Of course, they're the staff. They helped make it. They are probably one of the key group behind it. In fact, they were one of the key group behind it. Oh, yes. Well, that's just hideous. <laughs> Oh, I am, folks. Thank you very much for watching. To be continued, find out in the future. Well, then, folks, there you have it. There, is, there is bloody raw. Fully done for you all, folks. All eight characters done. All endings shown for you all, folks. And do apologize for the length of this video, folks. Didn't mean to be this long, but really, folks. It's still showing you every highlight of this wonderful game. It really is good. It deserves everything good about it. And Hudson made a very good game. Yeah, simple as that. But, uh, well, I'm, but, but now then, folks, it's time to leave Bloody Roar. No. We've been down that that memory of the first Bloody Roar game, and we'll be bringing you the next memory lane sometime, hopefully, before or on the 1st of February. With some luck, please don't hold, hold me to it, as you know, I might end up really messing up with the date. No, I might look. But anyway, though, folks, thank you very much for watching. And catch you all later, folks. And of course, folks, and to all of you out there, what I usually said in the past, I've been, I really have been trying to remember to say this all the time, but it goes then, folks. Do please have a very good morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, folks. See you all later, and have fun.